Hello Leos! Welcome back on my YouTube channel, Ivan Atero. This is your weekly love tarot reading and I hope you are ready. I hope you are ready. I hope you are safe and sound and guys, let's get started. I will start as usual, Leos, with a challenge for you. Don't forget, comment, like, share, subscribe. Challenge! Challenge is Nine of Cups, which is basically not a challenge. Nine of Cups talks about pleasure and joy. So guys, this is your homework. Enjoy in this week as much as you can, guys. This is Nine of Cups. This could be a real good relationship with Pisces, Scorpio or Cancer. And guys, I don't think, at least not for now, that you have like a big, you know, burden on your mind, on your chest. But guys, if you have, if you do, say to yourself, write it down and repeat throughout this week. I trust in the flow of life. This is guys the message for Nine of Cups, which is so beautiful. But I think many of you guys are happy. Many, many of you. Because Nine of Cups is such a beautiful, uh, balanced, you know, energy. Very, very balanced uh, energy. So, at least one wish of yours will be fulfilled. But guys, in this week, you already know that. You already know what will happen. You already know how you need and how you want to handle your current love situation. Pisces, Scorpio or Cancer most likely is deeply already in love with you. Now, little something about your past. Ace of Cups, Seven of Wands, Ace of Cups, best card you can get for your love reading, and Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands is discussion, it's a competition, it's jealousy, it's a strife, but also it's a card of bravery some of you needs to be brave guys i will clarify so we will see what the heck is going on this could be relationship which started or maybe all the guys you are in this relationship and everything is so beautiful your impact on this person is so good and vice versa but usually seven of wands is like it's like competition when let's say um, I don't think you are dealing with two people. I don't think, or vice versa. Like, like you know, uh, two people, whatever. But seven of wands, but, okay, how can I describe this? Like competition in a sense, this could be your fear. Uh, this could be you being jealous, thinking that maybe your partner is flirting with somebody else, which I don't think so. I don't think so. But kind of this is you thinking like this or maybe your partner is also guys you know very very jealous at you i can see simply jealousy right <clears throat> guys it's a real good time to clarify seven of wands uh, my advice for you would be preserve your energy if you are dealing with a person who maybe is not into you which i can't imagine especially not with the ace of cups but let's say if you struggle with, you know, jealousy, whether yours or of your partner, what you should do, my oh my, Knight of Wands. And guys, this is you. Let me see, guys, the message. Aha, uh -huh. pressure. There you go. There is, guys, a lot of pressure. This could be you pressuring this person or maybe this person is pressuring you. Because, guys, I can see some coping. Maybe you think this person want to fence you in. Or maybe your partner is afraid. Oh, you know, this Leo want to fence me in. Guys, you know, whatever it is. If you feel, or maybe your partner might mention something. Or maybe they already mentioned, right? Like, you know, don't push me or whatever. Then just, guys, you know, you know, uh, withdraw a little bit. Just a little bit. But kind of everything depends on you. Everything depends on you, Leos, everything. I think this person is deeply in love with you, but guys, I mean, just Leos, look at this card. Always on the run, run, always on the run. 
So I think you are fulfilled with energy and kind of this person can't follow you. You are too, you are too fast. You have a lot of ideas, uh, you know, and there is a person who is watching you so closely. I think this is your partner. Guys, I told you there's a lot of jealousy, you know, between you and your current partner. <clears throat> if you're single, Ace of Cups, this could be another Leo, Aries or, um, or Sage, but also guys could be Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces. So if you're still single, you know this person, but kind of there is like a emotional fight. I don't know guys, you know, how how to uh, how to describe you know any better but kind of you do not want to show how much you care or this person is afraid if i show my leo how much i care i can push my leo away maybe simply you're afraid of love current or present situation king of wands queen of pentacles this is guys a match and six of Pentacles. So let me show you. This is your present situation. First card represents you. In the middle, guys, I can see Capricorn Virgo Taurus. So this is you guys, and this is a match. Six of Pentacles talks about money, talks about house, investment, relocation, business, trying to do something, trying to build something as I think you are building serious relationship. I think you are preparing for family, for pregnancy, for building business, for building your house, selling, buying. I can see a little child. I can see a little child. You will be very focused on your children. You want to make, you want to do, you want to bring, you want to give to your children something. You want to be remembered by you know how you know how strongly you take care for your for your family if you're a woman you will feel the same but also guys i can see very strong person next to you very strong personality now guys let me clarify six of pentacles this is some blessing this is some money this could be your parents giving you some money this could be your partner taking care of you, saying, sit down, uh, you know, sit back, you know, relax. I will do that for you. I will support. I will take care. Maybe you are pregnant and your partner will do certainly, guys, you know, everything for you. There is a very strong connection between you and this person. Could be somebody new. Could be, of course, your, your current partner. Uh, clarification for this beautiful blessing six of pentacles is no more no less than major Khan and the empress you see how beautiful guys this deck is so beautiful such a beautiful um, nice you know colors and and so tender tender energy not every single deck is the same so let me guys read the message I create what I choose to create and you know whatever comes to you naturally and with joy guys do you remember challenge for this upcoming week is joy to be joyous guys you know whatever is happening in your life to put a smile on your face because you will fix whatever you need to fix you will fix it and everything guys will be fine now it's time for my yellow deck i will pull three cards this also guys could be your parents taking care for you uh, they want to talk to you they want to help you they want to clear something for you could be giving you money for your education uh, also could be getting a scholarship i can see a couple of you some of you you are preparing for next step in your education um, this could be your roommate, this could be your colleague, but guys, I can say some love. Now, three cards. They do want you badly. Wow, told ya. There is a person who is afraid of you because you are so strong. Remember, this is you. 
and if you are dealing with a person who is a little bit shy like this Capricorn, Libra, Taurus or Capricorn you must be patient so guys I don't think you need this be more bold because I think you are very bold every single Leo whether you're a woman or man simply Leo have this type of fiery and very passionate energy but guys if this person is slow and not as fast as you are this person could make you a couple of problems like why you're putting a pressure on me I told you I love you I told you I explained to you like you know many times I want to be with you I want to stay with you right so guys you know uh, give a little bit of time to this you know person you see you are very strong you are very very strong so this person could be a little bit intimidate by you because you're always on the run uh, career love love career a lot of friends maybe business maybe traveling maybe education uh, at least one project but could be two three or maybe even more projects on your mind so almost like this person can't understand you sometimes this person can't follow you guys you know this person just can't they want but they can't so maybe this be more bold it's not message for you maybe guys this is message for your partner maybe this is you talking through this card for your partner like you know be more bold take some risk look at me you know so but guys uh, don't do that because people are different you know some people are bold and um, some people are shy some people are slow some people simply are afraid you are not afraid of anything at all guys you know you are you are going through your life like a warrior you're not afraid of anything at all anything at all now let me see guys what will happen in the near future but everything so far looks good page of pentacles five of wands knight of cups and two of swords two of swords is indecisiveness person who waits for much too long and simply you don't have time to wait whoever could be Aquarius could be Libra could be Gemini so either this is you saying I don't have time you know um, I simply don't have time or hurry maybe this is you saying hurry or I mean I can't imagine someone else saying to you hurry because you are so passionate you're so strong you know dealing with a lot of you know things on your mind so page of Pentacles for your near future is saying okay I will be open I will stay open for new opportunities and for my personal growth so go slow say it to yourself okay everything will be fine hey hey go slow just go slow five of wands uh, is saying I stand my ground and I look for peace guys this is what you need you need to be more peaceful you need to learn to be happy with basically what you have I'm talking about health and family and friends and you know love relationships so if you're already attached learn to be happy with what you have in this present moment guys you know you are receiving you are getting you are doing the best you can and I think many of you guys this is you pressuring yourself you tend to pressure yourself I can do it I can do it faster I can earn more money I deserve you know more money but guys this person is not like you this person is completely guys different than you are so two of swords is saying slow down at least a little bit at least a little, a little bit in front of some of you guys there is a, a decision um, not like a big 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 decision but this is you dealing with Libra Gemini Aquarius which is kind of nice 
And for some of you guys, this is Cancer, Pisces and Scorpio. And this is you saying, doubting, is this person the right for me? And this person will do anything for you. They simply want to describe you, you know, how much they like you. But with the Two of Swords, kind of you don't trust completely. Maybe you think, now it's a gold digger, but I don't think so. Leos, I think this time you are wrong. This is my opinion, which is based on your reading. So this is like, 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 like the first, the most important idea in this week, in this week, saying, I want right person, but also you are indecisive. Some of you will choose between two or maybe three people. And basically you need very deep guys, you know, connection. You need something real special. I think this person is something special, but sometimes you don't see because, because guys, you know, if you don't see this person is like, you know, very special from the very first hello, you tend to give up. Two of Swords is saying, don't give up guys, you know, just like that. Don't do that. Okay. And final guys message, which could be very important. I know that the right person waits until I'm ready. What this means, some of you are not ready, even though you think you are. But guys, if you're attached, this is your challenge. This is your homework. Learn to be happy with what you have. If you are guys still single, you ain't gonna stay single for that much longer. Because guys, I have Ace of Cups, you, King of Wands, and Queen of Pentacles. Quite very easily, this could be your soulmate. Guys, and I mean it, your soulmate. So, Leos, I have a question for you. Do you tend to put your partners under so many tests? Like again, again, again. Huh? Put your comment. So, there you go. All in all, very fruitful week when you can get a lot of questions. But guys, you know, this person also have a question or two for you. So don't doubt, don't doubt. There is no reason, guys, you know, for you to doubt in anything at all. And remember, slow down if you can just a little bit. You have two jobs and two projects and three hobbies, right? Maybe this person is not like you, okay? So just slow down. But guys, this is not bad. Comment, like, share, subscribe, or schedule a private reading with me on Skype. So there you go. This could be your hero. This could be your one and only. This could be a real special person because I have a match for you, Leos. Not bad. Not bad at all. So be a king. And, you know, think about magnanimity. You know, what magnanimity, you know, represent in your life. You know, like, give and you will receive for sure. Especially in this week. Bye. Beautiful, beautiful, one of the best readings for you guys, one of the best readings. Take care.